Hey everybody, I'm sure a lot of you have seen my Owl Plays Terraria playthrough. Unfortunately, I switched computers and the, that world is no longer available. However, um, I do have a new world that I'd like to show you, and that's going to be what's going to happen in uh, this episode of Owl Plays Terraria. I do have a new world that I've made significant progress in, and stick around at the end for a boss fight. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so, hello everybody. Welcome back to Owl Plays Terraria in a completely different world. What? Anyway, uh, so, I'm gonna turn the sound back up. Uh, and I will show you my world right after I finish dismantling this rope. So, here, I believe, is my, uh, desert area. I'm pretty sure this is like one block off. And uh, no, it's supposed to be like right there. Eh. Eh, whatever. Uh, I'll fix it later. Uh, this is my desert area. I'll get to the main base in a moment, but I have like four NPCs. Uh, these two are selling the desert pylon, and they're far enough away that they really they like the solitude, they like the desert, and they like the NPCs that they're with. So they do indeed sell the desert pylon and make it work. Um, and uh, I could use the pylon, but I like to give a good sense of scale. Um, this is how close the base is. Um, so yeah, here's the base. I have a small arena for mostly fighting Eye of Cthulhu a long time ago. And uh, here's my chest area. I have all the needs. And if I have more, I can just put another chest down. I might need more room. Here's my pylon network. Two whole pylons. Uh, traveling merchant. Not selling anything useful except, you know, the DPS meter that I already have. Uh, ooh, and the bamboo leaf that I don't have enough money for. Or do I? No, I don't. I don't have enough money. Um, also, I... Yeah, this is my base. So... All the NPCs are either here or in the desert. I mean, there are a few over here, and then I'm going to move them to the snow area eventually. But, yeah, here's my base. I have my crafting area down here, and a bunch of NPC housing on the floor below, and uh, up here. Here's my day bloom farm, because I constantly require those for potions, and I just thought, heck, I'm going to make a farm for them, so I won't have to find them by chance all over the world. And uh, that's what I did. Great, I love it. And I just finished all planting every single seed. Great. And I have the exact amount of seeds needed. And I have like eight day blooms, which is basically infinite. Um, and I'm going to put these in the plants. So then I have all these crafting stations. You can pause the video to look at them. And yeah, uh, here's my loadout. I have a mini shark that I use to fight most of the things. Uh, Star Fury... Molten pickaxe, legendary molten ham axe. Oh yeah, I uh, have the best modifier in that for somehow. Bunch of torches, imp staff. Uh, speaking of, I should probably summon my minions. I mean, I don't have to, but like, I'll I'll just do that as I keep explaining my loadout. I have an imp staff that I reforged one time for like 50 silver, and now it's hurtful, which is plus 12 damage, which I really like. Uh, this is a bug net. That's that's it. It's a bug net. <laughs> Throwing knives, which I never use. They're just there to clog inventory space because I don't like things getting in my hotbar. Uh, rope that I still don't use. And some wood. And that's pretty much it, honestly. Uh, I also have... Oh, I have some other stuff. Uh, I could get to this stuff later. I have an obsidian skull depth meter. Shadow key. Uh, six owls for good luck. I just try to capture as many as I can. Restoration potions for healing. Spelunker low sticks. Because they're cool. Um, what's the look? Oh, right, right. I was refilling these. Uh, and as well as a magic mirror and a money trough. So that's it. As you can see, I got a bewitching table from the dungeon. And uh, I think it's really good. Uh, I'll finish explaining my loadout as I fall down the elevator with my slime mount. I've, I have Slime Mount, a uh, Web Slinger, which is the one of the best early game uh, pre-hard mode hooks. Demonic Hellcock Art that I found. 
I can't find anything else. I mean, I didn't find anything else. I fell in lava there. Um, furthermore, I built this hell bridge. And uh, while I run across it, I'll explain the rest of my loadout. I have a pharaoh's robe and wizard hat for vanity. A uh, crimson scale mail armor. Um, brain of confusion. Spectre boots. Fledgling wings. Shiny red balloon. Armored sh shark tooth necklace. Uh, and I, that's my loadout. That's what I have. That's my daily day-to-day -day stuff. And I also have use potions for boss fights. I think it's really nice. And I use this obs uh, the obsidian skull to just be immune to fire blocks when I need to. And then I switch back to my brain of confusion whenever, whenever I do indeed need to. Anyway, uh, the minions help with the ridiculous amount of enemies everywhere, ever. Um, this is expert mode, just like the original Owl Plays Terraria. And, uh, yeah, I've explored quite a bit. I have an arena over at the Skeletron uh, I that I used to fight Skeletron. I'll show you that clip in a moment. Oh, the party girl. I'm not sure what the requirements for her are, but I, it hasn't happened in a while. Uh, for a while. Because it just happened. Anyway. Ah, uh, yes. I'm looking for these right now. So. I just kind of want to find that, uh... Th what's the homing fire weapon? Magic? Uh, whatever. Um, I, that, I really like it because I can't aim. And that's the main reason. Anyway. I'm just going to look for some more chests while I explain what else I have in this world. Uh, I have... Spider cave, but I haven't find this found the stylist at all in it. I mean, you might have seen the spider cave as I was falling through the elevator, etc. But uh, yeah. So this is the world I'm gonna be doing uh, owl plays terraria in. Um, yeah, I skipped a few boss fights because uh, you guys didn't get to see those, sadly. I mean. Uh, the only one I didn't record was, um, Brain of Cthulhu. And, uh... I did record Skeletron a bit earlier, luckily. I fought him in this arena over here. Uh, I think it was really nice. Anyway, uh, yeah. I will guess I'll show you that clip now. Alright. Hi, everybody. I'm gonna turn the music off for the video. Um... Probably turn the sound down a bit too. How loud is that? Uh, just a little bit. And, uh, so, you've probably just heard this, but, uh, I'm about to fight Skeletron. And, uh, I have buffs, decent reforges, and we're gonna fight him. Curse option. Oh, this is on expert mode, by the way. I have an imp, an imp summon. This is going better than the last time I tried to do it, and at least I'm recording this time. This is easier than the last time, because I have much bigger arena, and uh, better reforges, a lot more health, etc. Um, gotta try to get the hands down. I only have 800 bullets to do this. And I'm very bad at aiming, so... Oh, I'm bleeding. Not much for commentary, but, uh... The hands inflict slowness, and the head bleeding. So... Yeah, that's not good. As you can see, his health bar is, like, almost full because the hands don't count, and I haven't been hitting that. Uh, cuz... Trying to hit the hands first. Alright, switch to the other hand that isn't as low. Ooh.
Oh, I almost got that hand down, which I don't want to do. Oh, I got one hand down. Gotta get the other one down, and now I start fi firing at the head. Oh, I forgot to buff. Now it'll go faster, but I did- I can't believe I- I did that well without buffs. I don't know why I was over-preparing- over-preparing so much for this fight. Although I am running out of bullets, and I might have to use my Star Fury. I have a brain of confusion, so I can dodge. There's a small chance to dodge, and after I do dodge, the critical chance increases by a bit. Luckily, it's nowhere near the end of the night, and I still have a decent number of bullets, I think. Ah, oh, my bullets are running out, but he's under half. Don't touch him. Just get close enough so that my bullets can hit well. Heal up. Oh, I'm out. I'm almost out of bullets. I'm going to have to use them wisely. I really hope I don't run out of disk space before the fight ends. I don't think I will. Oh. Oh, oh I got him with my Star Fury. Because I ran out of bullets just almost as the fight ended. And there we go. Treasure bag. Uh, as you can see, I'm not in journey mode. Uh, there's no... If I press C, there's no uh, thing here. Uh, this is completely legi legitimately my first ever uh, Skeletron victory. That's nice. Alright. Now I can enter the dungeon. And, uh, yeah, that's great. Sadly, I did not record the Brain of Cthulhu fight. But, uh... I might do that again if you guys really want me to. But, uh... I'll try- I could try to replicate the gear that I had at the beginning of the fight. Uh, whatever. I'm just happy I beat Skeletron. Thanks, guys, for watching.